so back you're you're in Kosamui mm-hmm. in in let's say for for your your husband's sake say the the early 90s yeah <laughs> so we don't mess yeah. up the dates yeah. um can you talk a little bit about what was samui like back then and how has it oh. changed oh samui was um it was beautiful there was nothing there were there were no made roads um there was the band on hospital which was what, quite what do you mean no made roads like you're talking dirt roads the whole yeah. place yeah 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 uh <laughs> There was a little bit of bitumen around a few areas, but not much. Um, it flooded all the time, but I think Chowang still does. It Chowang Beach was pristine. And now? It's disgusting. And I haven't been back for a few years, but it's <clears throat> disgusting. And they've t- the vendors have taken over. There's no beach, really. I mean, it was a beautiful white sandy beach. Uh, there were no high rises. There was hardly any buildings uh, and there were, it was at the beginning of uh, a couple of five-star hotels. My husband, um, his his hotel was a brand new hotel. Which one was uh, it? It was called. It was then called Samui Euphoria. It's, so n- it's were, now in Anantara. Were the bigger hotels showing up, like your Hilton, your Marriott? No, no, no. This is way before, way before that. that. Um, <clears throat> they were just starting to build a few hotels. And um, the first, I guess the first really well-known name would be the Centara Grand was being built. Uh, but there were a couple of other hotels that had already opened. There was a Doucet, um, and that was a, a, a really nice hotel. And then there was one other hotel. But uh, there were a lot of smaller hotels, um, all Thai-owned. Uh, there was the T- Tavorn group, which was a very well-known group in those days, and they had uh, quite a few hotels along the beaches. So, I mean, there were a lot of hotels, but it was all very um, up and coming. There were no uh, – we couldn't get bread. And then someone opened a bakery. Uh, there was a place called Palm Burger, a very, very, very poor relative of um, what we call McDonald's these days. Uh, you couldn't sometimes couldn't get wine, uh, and all of a sudden someone said, "Wine's arrived." You know, and this is for the hotels as well. It was very primitive, um, and it was it was a great place. Uh, people uh, would sit on the beach and um, smoke dope and all of that sort of thing. So You're coming from the kind of hu- I don't want to say hustle and bustle of Melbourne. I mean, Melbourne probably back then too. It's still a city. I oh, know it was a hustle and bustle compared to. Com- a hun- Compared to, I mean, living in the jungle, essentially. Oh, yeah. You were okay with that? You adapted well? Knowing that, hey, I don't have wine, I don't have bread today. No, and I kept jumping on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and and your husband, maybe that's why he's like, hey. Well, he, he had, uh, fortunately for him, every month he had to go up to Bangkok and he'd stay at the Four Seasons. Okay. He had a week every month and um, he would do all sales trips with the agents in Bangkok. So... Yeah, you had to get off the island. I got, yeah. So you never had that long, you know, three, four month stretch of get me the hell out of here. You know, that that can kind of go through the that No, mentality. that would have been uh, very difficult. Uh, when when so, did you see the transition where Samui started to become an actual, like, major destination in Thailand? Well, we were only there for two and a half years. And then we went to Malaysia and the Philippines. But it just, it grew really quickly. Too quickly, I think. And now it is, uh, I went back 10 years ago and went, I'm never coming back. I couldn't believe how dirty the water was in Chowang, for instance. I mean, we walked into the water up to ankle deep and you couldn't see your your feet. And I just went, "Mm." Uh, there's huge developments there. Everyone tells me you have to come back again. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. Um, And and I do plan on going back sometime. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.